Hello, this is the January 2016 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. My name is Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. Net general fund revenue increased 3.8% in January when compared to January 2015. Net revenue increased $21.3 million with a significant increase in personal income tax deposits partially offset by declines in gross sales tax and corporate tax revenue. In addition, increases in tax refunds and in school infrastructure transfers weighed on net receipts. However, there were several reasons why this January was not comparable to January 2015. First, significant calendar and deposit timing issues likely positively influenced personal income tax withholding revenue by as much as $43 million, and that situation will reverse in February. Second, the final two days of January this year fell on a weekend, while last year it was just the final day. The situation negatively impacted personal income and sales tax deposits by about $17 million, and the situation will provide a boost to February deposits. And third, school infrastructure account transfers increased 15.8% this January, an occurrence that is not in line with the recent rate of growth in sales tax revenue. Combined, the three issues likely resulted in an excess January net revenue, with an expected reversal coming in February. Turning to the fiscal year to date, net revenue for the year has increased $88 million, which equates to 2.3% increase. The following chart was produced without adjustment for the three issues just discussed. The chart provides general fund growth on a cash year basis by major net revenue category. The time frame is July 1 through January 31st. On the right side, you see that overall net growth is $88 million, and on the left side, we see $109 million in withholding tax growth, an amount that exceeds the $88 million in total revenue growth. Income tax refunds, other refunds, silo school infrastructure transfers, and gross corporate tax deposits, all producing a drag on net revenue through January. At 2.3% year to date, Total net receipts growth is below the current revenue estimating conference projection for the year of 3.8%. In summary, net revenue growth in January was positive, but there were several significant calendar and deposit issues making comparisons between this January and last January problematic. With or without adjustment for the known comparison issues, revenue growth through January is below the rate needed to match the current REC projection and the filing of individual income tax returns this spring will need to provide a good boost for revenue to meet current expectations. Goodbye, thank you, and please check out the next monthly video memo in early March.